So, good evening everyone. This is a campaign Sardines Offensive is back. Uh, uh, today's stream, I hope it's going to be a little bit shorter. Because I have to go to bed a little bit earlier than uh, previous, previous nights. Uh, so yeah, we are continuing uh, Vahtam Rhein campaign. And most of the focus of this stream will be here in the south, and then we are gonna going to just look what we can do with our fairly isolated units. Um, especially this fifth Falschimjäger division, 14th regiment is super isola isolated, isolated by two tank units and and a battalion of infantry in here. So if we could somehow help these guys out or just move them into safety and hide them for the night or some something like that. But here in the south we have to do uh, a proper destruction of this these units. They managed to push my guys out that I had placed here in the forest. But that's that's not a biggie. We can still solve that situation. Probably the first thing should be to to move this guy, this unit back into here. So then we can attack from all possible sides. That single unit. But okay, let's let's get into this. Um, Let's see how many base of attack we can get this kind of just pure infantry attack and push them back into the forest and then we shell this position and concentrate our guys for one, one more attack. I think that's that's probably the sequence we want to do. We want to do this attack. So heavy forest style. The tanks are dangerous in heavy forest. That seems to be the case in this game. The tanks are deadly no matter what the terrain type is. Um, I would rather like to send the Stooks here to fight against this Team Edwards unit. So I'm really hoping to, to be able to do this attack without those guys. This is a very low readiness because they fought and they actually lost that combat. Combat over there. I can get 100% 14 to 1, but we don't have any any tank killers. We would need these stooks, I think. And we would need some unit some unit in here. Yeah, let's let's also move the stooks in here. Hundred and fifty. I like that. Or oh, thirty eight to one attack. Okay. Two tanks managed to retreat alive from that attack. 
<laughs> and we can now move these guys in position. Those guys can only perform a ranged attack. Okay, they have played a card in here to for that one particular unit to increase the defense. Defensive capabilities, I see, I see. I'm not sure how much supplies did they get through because my flak guns are here. The artillery range is three, but what is the real what is the real range of flak guns? Because I made that really bad move last in the last stream, uh, moving those uh, anti-air guns uh, in those open marshes, and they got hit by the enemy mortars and artillery. Ranged weapons. Could it be like this kind of? Is it those three, or does it just... Could it be that it's three hexes? This is like one hex. I'm not sure. I don't know. So, I Otto. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing today. Today's gonna be a little bit shorter stream. I... I have an early, early morning wake up. Got myself a vaccination time early, early tomorrow. So I, I got to get up, got to get up for that. Um, I was also thinking about those moves that I made in the previous stream, like, especially like I was wondering that that range for or uh, flak guns. Like if I have this, I have the tanks here and I want to protect them from an airstrike. What is the range of the flak guns? It shows a light flak value of 44, heavy flak 88. But it just doesn't say anything about like the range that does it matter if the flak is one hex away from the unit. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea how the air protection works right now. And I don't think they've said it in the manual either. I might check the manual, but I might have to like ask that in the forums or something to get an actual answer, like how, how does it work? But okay, nice that you, you downloaded the beta and started, started the campaign. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be definitely harder. The beginning is gonna be harder and uh, because those bridges are now blown. And if I think correct, if I remember correctly, most of the units in the south can't even move. And even if you could move them, you can't get them across necessarily. You just have to use those. You have like 20 political points or something in the beginning, so. You don't have a lot to, a lot to go, go with. So yeah, it's a definitely more challenging, challenging start. But okay, let's let's see if we could. What is our our recon is only sixty two. Two to one. Maybe I should move these. Just four pack guns. Couple of luck. And do a ranged attack. I could probe them, maybe. 
That would lower their readiness to... Just gonna do a small probe. Wow, we managed to take out 10 engineers with a probe. That's nice. Then let's do the ranged attack. And we managed to just kill our Bakka and Flakkas. <laughs> okay, that didn't go according to plan. Usually it's so that they don't respond to those fires at all, but in this case they fired back. I have had quite mixed results. Hmm. Well, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate. I think we can then... Try to take them out with these guys. We get 40%. Modifier, we have infantry, we have everything. Uh, 30 veteran soldiers. Let's do one, one bombardment there. One steward. Yeah, again, the odds change a little bit based on the order changing, but let's try to take them out. And again, another puck gun lost. Uh, one stug. They still are a fighting force. Ranged attack. What if we would do arrange that together? No, let's just do with these. Yeah, these Germans really refuse to die. Their readiness is 10. Somebody would just need to charge. Charge them, I think. Five to one. Yeah, take them out. Yeah, capitulation. Are you planning to do your research now? Where did the Germans, which road did the Germans take when they really attacked? But yeah, I appreciate that if they historically, the bridges were blown in the beginning of the offensive, they should be blown also in the scenario. Like, no need to give Germans any unfair advantage. Let's try if we could do do some damage. Having artillery here in the adjacent hex, that would be the best. So I think we're gonna move these guys in here. Um, based on our recon, Junglin's Linster is empty. Our recon is saying that they have evacuated, evacuated those positions. So, okay. I think we would need to send some weaker force there to scout it out first. Maybe the pioneers. The pioneers could be the best 
best people for this kind of job. Okay, so there was a unit after all. But, uh, <clears throat> but my units didn't receive an artillery barrage. So. Uh, how much is supplies? 100%, so they didn't lower it at all. Okay. Let's see. I think I could cut off going here in Stuppet would be the best. It would cut off these guys. Okay, there's a lot of artillery in here though. 12% line of sight. 3% And there might be still units in there, so I, I have to be careful Really careful, otherwise I can, I can always do a night movement Night movement with those guys so What kind of combat Combat odds are we looking at if we we were to do a full frontal assault. 5 to 1. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not good enough. Mm. Answer artillery. Should definitely move forward. We need all of the artillery pieces forward. These guys are moving on horses, on horse carriages. I guess they could be the one doing the main barrage. Okay, 60, 60 men. That is fairly good. Eighty-eight, hundred and fifty-six. What is our recon? Our recon is eighty-three on this position. Okay, 94. I think we could just start moving, moving the guys out. Except this unit could do a barrage, it's, it's in a good position. Okay. Even maybe Recon in Force could be enough because th some of these units have really low readiness. Yep. We would really need to know what is in here. 
but am I am I willing to leave the pioneers here in the open? Not really. And then they are also gonna be contributing to the stack value. So attack is 33, yeah, then they can't move out. They can't move out. Okay, there's a second unit behind. I see. The tanks could be hidden in here. Field slide fortification. Should be empty. Yep. Okay. So I took this village now. Stupert. There's a bigger task force behind. We don't have really artillery assets that could pound, pound that position. I think we can we can maybe start sending sending these guys out. We don't need them to encircle that position anymore. I think it's it's secured. So now the focus is just just to get everybody everybody in here. I'm gonna put them on march mode in here. Also to the same hex. They are all now in march mode in here. Hidden in the heavy forest. Um. So is there a height level difference? Yes, there actually is. So attacking here is a river crossing plus a height difference. Not really a good place. Good place to attack. Frontally at least. This might be way too far. This moment in here is risky. Just can't make it to the village, sadly. Twelve moment point cost. Okay. Could these guys actually climb, climb up here? They could, through the night, get into this position or something like that. Because we are not in a massive rush to, to take that. Take that. Take that place, so... I think we should just focus on... Focus on... Keeping the units on the move. We could do a probe with these two units. Only. We might be able to get uh, some of them to surrender just just simply by doing a 
doing a really small scale attack. That's also a possibility. I'm just thinking. How big of a fight will they set up? 14, 10. Yeah, I think we could do one. We could take like... Take both of these and... Those pakkans. And then... This would be 4 to 1, but let's use these high readiness units. Recon in force would be hit points plus 66, and max rounds of combat are 4. I think we can do just a probe, maybe. Yeah, let's do a probe. Okay, so they held. We lost two Panzer Shrek and then one half truck. Okay, and they still have that movement, so this guy can be. It's actually I moved the wrong thing. No worries, that's okay too. Those guys out there. And these guys in here. And let's try to get the artillery in position. Let's see if we have... We have these guys. These guys can fire one barrage. Yeah, why not? Just to make sure that they... If they try to break out, their readiness is super low. So they are gonna have quite bad time trying to push out. I could reinforce this position or I can start uh, moving via this this way. I think that's fine. Seventy. Yeah, those those both are quite quite low readiness, so I'm gonna reinforce them just in case. Guns at least go there for the time being. Do these guys have any? They don't seem. I'm gonna do a probe with this unit. Or we might even reveal what is in there when we move. 
one of these. Let's move something small. These panzers will do. Okay, it's just the city garrison according to this. Where is that? Okay, that's too far. No way. Um, how about in here? One, two, three, four, five. I think they could do one barrage there. Yep. That seems about right. Now the, these guys are... They are in a quite, quite bad state. I could even try to lower them if I do another probe. Because we might get some capitulations. But uh, I'm just gonna leave it. No need. No need to do that. Let's see. Yeah, these pioneers have... They have some issues. They apparently can't... Can't do a proper... Proper crossing, no matter what. Do we have any artillery available? Well, we have two rounds of artillery barrage in here. Two rounds in, rounds in there. I think we should do those two rounds just to try to lower their readiness a little bit. They have one anti-tank gun and they have five basokas. Ah, that's a, that's a pretty mean unit. It's well positioned. I could put the flak guns in here and they could start attacking the city. Like if we get the city then we are safe. At least relatively safe. And I would rather take it faster than la like sooner than later. So I'm gonna be moving the flak guns here. What kind of range that can you do? Five to one. Mm, no idea. I think I'm gonna use the flak guns to do... To do a bombardment. These engineers, they could basically do a two rounds of combat, but then they were <laughs> causing stacking issues in here, so maybe I just move them out. Fifty-four. I don't think they will do any damage.
But I'm gonna try. Unless is this... No, there's no structural points in there, so there's no cover. No cover. Mm. What is the range? 14 hexes. Yeah, these are, these are gonna be exposed if we can't get in. We would just need some barrages. Uh, basically these can do a ranged attack in this hex. That could work. I should have maybe left them in here and then do a ranged attack there, but... They can still do four rounds. And then I would move the Panthers. Three to one, together seven to one. Seven to one. We just need to lower these guys' readiness. I'm gonna do with the flock guns. This kind of move. I know it's not necessarily the smartest thing to do, but I'm gonna do it. Ah. Very minor impact on anything. Readiness didn't really change to any direction. They have 200. Attack. We couldn't break it. Yeah, it costed a couple of tanks. It was too overly ambitious. And now we have these guys sitting as uh, sitting ducks here. Uh. Yeah, I, I knew it. Well, these guys really did their job. They managed to hold out a full tank force. I'm glad I didn't do all out. Reconning force could have been Maybe better. Yeah, a little bit overly ambitious plan. I should have just gone around. I just thought that it looked so weak. It would have required these engineers to do the recon. I mean probe. Probe here to get the full knowledge of the unit. And now we kind of hit ourselves to this brick wall. Let's hide those guys in the forest, just in case. Move this unit in here. Let's try to get the verifiers in the front lines. There are no tank units, except here on this side now. And these guys are still waiting in here. Are they in supply? Yes, they are. Oh, 
according to this we have really good chances in taking taking Mersh. I don't know though. I think we could we can try. Uh no. Okay, they wouldn't be able to fire us back. Neither could these guys. Let's try to... Let's try to do something. 29 hexes. 16 hexes. Let's move them a little bit forward. Recon is not that great in this area. No more tars were hit. Three to one. Five to one. Where are those? Here we have two. Here we have one werfer. Okay, sadly they don't have a bigger range. We have 800 against these guys, but I'd rather take the mortar, mortar men. Taking out priest is, priests is more difficult, but I can try. Okay, we took out fairly many of them. Um, next move. Clark ha has some visibility in this hex. This unit doesn't have any visibility. we just shell it with something else then? Also taking out Clark would allow us to attack that. I don't think we can hit those small targets. Yeah, let's try to attack the mortars again. Finally a couple of hits. Now their readiness really went down. Six to one if we fire from here. I think we should. Minimal hits. I think we could try to take the city. Probably gonna cause high losses though, because those those priests are really really difficult. Difficult units. Um no, this doesn't make any sense. This makes more sense. Could we give this unit? We can give it an attack. A 
attack guard. Yeah, I think we should. It's such a crucial thing if they manage to go and take the city. Do it. Okay, we managed. So the city is ours now. Now just the question of... Uh, we would need to send units in here. How can we do that without taking any, any casualties? I think we can do another combat, we could clear out this hex. Team Clark. Attack. They held. Okay. Kind of surprising. Surprising, but that's okay. Now these guys have a low... Low readiness. Uh, we just need to somehow... Somehow try to reinforce. They have 50% line of sight here, only 25. 50% line of sight. I'm going to try to get... Get with these pioneers. This is really a lot of infantry, so I'm a bit worried. Can we pull that move off? Okay, we managed to do this. That's really great. That means that we can probably even move these guys in here in Rollingen. I think so, yeah. So I think I'm gonna be placing them in here. Stooks can't get from the forest. It's 70. Okay. We can't get Team Clark. Out of the action, these tanks will... They will do serious damage if we can't get more... More anti-tank equipment in that sector. Okay, we still have one more Werfer left. One to two. Team Clark isn't really worth it, so let's just keep it. Keep it as it is. There's a big chance that they will spot us. They have a big chance, yeah. I'm gonna try. 
gonna try with the smallest unit. Those guys can go there. I would just need them in the city. That's the only way to resist this many tanks. And even after that I'm not completely sure is it enough to resist them. Um. I'm gonna move the pioneers from here to there. Let's see, can they really go through? No, they couldn't go through. Yeah, they got stopped here. In the open. Yeah, that's what I thought. Destroy Team Clark. Yep, finally. Finally Team Clark is gone. Gone for good. We can still reinforce this with another unit. Or I can go to rolling and not really sure which one is better. Yeah, let's just put them stubborn. One to one odds. Yeah, we have low entrenchment, so I don't think that's worth it. No return fire expected. Let's do this kind of barrage in here. Or should we do it in here though? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that's good. Fewer mortars. Fewer enemies. Uh, how about these? No return fire expected. Perfect. Do it. Okay, no priests, nothing. Okay, that's good. This is good. I don't know what to do with these guys. They are now in here. Cut off from supplies basically. I think we can just keep it that way. Stubborn, flexible. Yeah, this seems all really good. Yep. And I'm gonna move these guys into the city, if they can gather readiness a little bit faster. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, this looks all fairly okay. He could move the flock up Tailung. Back into the city maybe. Before we take any of their artillery out, this all that kind of movement is kind of risky. And now we need to start resolving this issue. Uh, these guys can't probably even run. They have 155 entrenchment, that's the only thing that is now keeping them alive. Okay. One to one. No, this would be catastrophic losses for us. If this is a tank unit, that, that would be really bad. Half mm. group by Hauser. Uh, we would need Hauser back. I have a feeling that we would need all of these guys like back in here. I can we throw with these guys. These guys we could we throw into this hex. But they would probably intercept me in here. But I have nothing to fight against those. It's a minor city too, so the tank modifier is minus 60%. I have a chance to attack from two sides against this, but that calls. Okay, I'm gonna move with this unit first. I could even cut their line of retreat. Well, let's move this guy in here. Okay, we know that this is the Recon Squadron. Yeah, okay. It's the Recon Squadron is there. We could cut off their line of retreat. But they can still probably push pakkans. There would be a height level and a river crossing. I don't we can we can try. Like let's let's put the combat system to its extreme. In that sense, so He can cut off their line of line of retreat. And we are going to going to move uh, with Hauser instead of going here. Hauser needs to needs to be getting Getting maybe in this position, yeah. I think we have to stay put. We just have to be... Stubborn. They are 
not really that experienced on it, so that's... That's maybe the only drawback. These Panzer Grenadiers, they now would be needed in here to solve that issue or the situation in there. So I think... I think the Stooks should just stay in here. Because they are good to kill priests. They do that fairly well. Mm. We also have flak guns available. We could move them in here instead of guarding against an air attack. These have high entrenchment anyways, or at least one of them, so... Uh, these are actually quite okay movement. One to one. Yeah, we don't have that good of an entrenchment, so maybe, maybe no. Maybe no for that, for the time being. Although it could maybe help. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Just because if it lowers the ability of them providing, providing support when they try to push back to the city. Okay, not completely useless, useless, but fairly, fairly unsuccessful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be moving the this infantry in here. Because we need to stabilize this, this place and uh, let's put the flak guns in here just in case. Because Hauser is now Hauser is now in not in the best place. It really needs to move the hell out of there. Or I can put Hauser in, in this place. But then it's kind of where we started off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move it there, just in case. And we just have hope that this place, or the, these positions don't become critical in the meantime. Hundred and ninety three, hundred and ninety four. Yeah, those guys are not firing. It's only, it's only like which guns are firing. These two, okay. Well, they can fire in here. Because this doesn't do really anything. So let's fire. Five trucks, ten men, two mortars. Well, it was better than nothing. This would be now the best place to... Best place to be. 
Because these guys will still get supplies through here, maybe. I think so. This is like one to one. One to one odds. What if it's just these two? Thousand and seventy six. We could do a reckon in force. I can also just keep shelling them. The readiness is supposed to be 100. One of them attacking from high ground. I still don't like this. This is a this is a really pain, painful unit. Like we can let them move move away, but I don't know. Maybe it's good that we use the enemy's card. That they just resupply this position constantly. That serves some kind of purpose then. I think we could have this kind of system. We have one unit hidden here in the... In there, and let's... Let's see... Where do we move with these guys? Panzer Lair is supposed to be reconnecting. Okay, so there's a unit in there. Let's put these guys in here. We have no knowledge of the enemy strength in here. Um. Oh yeah, we have actually full movement with many of these units, so he can engage. We have some artillery. They are just out of range. Now they can fire these guys. No, that's not an appropriate target. And these only have two priests, so they wouldn't do much damage anyway. This is a better target. 295. Let's move these in the city, I think. Really shell them. Those guys are also super vulnerable, but our reckon is fairly low. 62 with these. Uh, pioneers are in the city. Yeah, I think the pioneers should do a probe. Or should both of them do a probe? No, there's so much anti-tank equipment, so... Just leave it for the pioneers. Yeah. Okay, 83 is our recon.
And first HQ HQ is within range, could do it. Not a single hit. What? That was completely useless. Useless barrage. These guys are also out of entrenchment. I think we just have to hit something, you know. Hit them again. No, not a single hit. What is going on? What is this magical unit? Yeah, taking out those first 101st airborne units. How about these guns? 29, 16. I don't know, did these guys combat value go down? Is there some kind of a bug? This 116th Panzer Division, so... Um, yeah, you are far away from home. So let's start sending this guy. It could maybe go in here. Or it can... Yeah, it's kind of either or. Here. And then the Goofy. Or. Or go here and then just Hufalis. I think the Hufalis is safer. Safer choice. Shim Jäger unit. I think to Huvalis is the best place. Can we load this guy? Uh, max weight carry, max manpower carry. Maybe that those horses are not carried, the horse teams. I'm 
gonna detach that. Yeah, it's those horse teams that can't be can't be loaded on trucks. Do we have what kind of visibility? Yeah, just a minor barrage. No impact, but... Um... Can't really engage with these rear area units. Not really sure where should these guys go. We can go up to here. I'm not sure do they have artillery in in here. Because they now have vision. Vision to our units. Going to move the pack guns, I think. Yeah, I think just moving them back makes sense. The divisional HQ is in here. What would be the supply status? No, it's again showing the wrong. Life would be good. If we were pushing in here, maybe. Because this is the fastest way to reconnect with my units. What is already the traffic points? Traffic points 2145, so it's already over. Over the limit. Yeah, I get it. Kohenhausen needs to just go back now at this stage. And I think this armored unit will have to also go, go through this way. We can't see any enemy units in there. I'm gonna move this guy. This guy here. Go, go. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to move move these guys. Uh Panzer Force, where do we need them? Yeah, I was also really unhappy with this result that we couldn't take this really stubborn infantry regiment. And because they were here, they provided line of sight to the artillery and they were able to spot out my movement. They harassed these guys, caused minor damage too. So I'm, I'm really pissed off about that unit. Like if there is a way to take it out, I would be really happy. Happy to finish it. But I, I don't see a way. 
right now, sadly. I don't think there is a way. Yeah, no, nobody has enough movement points to, points to take it out. It has only 10 readiness. Basically dead on water, but just refused, refused to die. The first attack should have been more, uh, more aggressive. Then I could have taken it out. Now we have 100 entrenchment in the light forest. These guys have a little bit less. Mm, no, no expected return fire. I'm just thinking, could we take out some of these tanks to plant and the attack? We are in light forest, only 42 entrenchment. It's not that great. We could play the entrenchment card though. Uh, the HQ, I think it's it's actually a little bit too far. Yeah, we have to move the HQ itself. I think in here, maybe. The distances are so great, so because these are not getting the maximum command bonuses now. They are a little bit too far. Maybe I just move the HQ in here. Uh, what unit can provide? This can do a ranged attack. No, not worth it. We need the readiness to increase. Ah, Kohenhausen. Kohenhausen. Kohenhausen could go here. This unit can go to the same place. No, I think we want to... I think we want to just go this way. Recon 53. So it's actually not enough. No, sorry, it's this hex 46. Okay, some intercept fire in the light forest. I think we can be fairly safe in this this position. They can't spot me with any of these guys. This is the only unit that can spot me. But if I move here, they can't spot me at all, so... Maybe I move there instead. And... 66, 60. Freaking rear area people. Okay. I don't think they can see my unit in here. They could. How? Who was able to spot me? Was it you? Because this is just like forest, there is the vision is blocked from all sides. Zero percent chance, zero percent chance. You tell me who spotted me. I could take this city. But I think I rather stay in the woods and yeah we have 102 entrenchment 
but attack from three sides would be too much, so I'm gonna withdraw to this high ground light forest. I could also give away this position and back into the city. Tank attack minus 20, gun minus 40. About tank, tank attack in here. Minus 30. Okay, I think they're gonna. They should be stand and fight in those hexes. Sadly, we can't get the. HQ any closer because yeah, sending it through here they might get interceptor. Yeah, I have historical weather because well, I can I can see it of course in these weather reports, but but I don't know. Maybe for the next one I could add a little bit. Uh, Uncertainty about the weather. That could be interesting. Because that definitely will have impact on the playthrough, no matter how the AI plays the game, but that is impactful. Um HQ is here, Unity is in here. What is the fastest way to get back to the front lines? Okay, and these guns. 80 movement, 75. We would just need to get them there. Guess we have to do it like one by one, one hex by one. Uh, Volks Grenadiers. Here would be bad supplies, so. But they can probably move through that. Quite fast. I'm gonna do it like that. This guy in here, Hohenhausen. Hohenhausen can get in here. And von Baum. I have no idea how they spotted me in this position. So there was an ambush in here. Okay. Uh, then we can fall back, I think. That was really unfortunate. I just thought that I could swear it looked empty. It was only 39. Well. Let's try to get this. Uh, this artillery. In position. This artillery also. They need they would need to go much closer. Orstein pakkans. I don't know. Uh, 
Maybe they can't get spotted in here. Something like that. Okay. Parker seems fairly dead. If I want to try to take them out, Recon in force. Meh. Will they have some artillery support? That's the that's the main question. Otherwise I could commit this whole whole troop. Super low readiness. Do it just take them out. Okay, capitulation, perfect. Ten men lost. So that was worth it. Uh, here. Oh, it's a light forest hex. Parker 57 Yeah, why not? We could do one One ranged attack Twenty men taken out Okay about in here most of the units are in this sector we would need to get them get them over here then they can fight here it's the 290 no it's a 18 Volksgrenadier division its guns are still in here. Show me the supply status. Supplies seem, seem okay. We need to get the HQ closer. Like in here. Yep, that's better. Okay. And then we have all these kinds of verifiers and stuff. Uh, core command is is right now in this position. That's that's bad. I think we can take this kind of do this kind of move. We can check its OOP. Is it only that one warfare unit that is in, in its direct command? No, it's also this. Why can't I see them in here? I think we should even reassign these guys. Uh, 116th Panzer Division. Yeah, this is completely. Yeah, it should 
should move either here or then with the verfers or the verfers should be moving. I don't know. Either or. Maybe the stooks are more important, so... So let's try to get the stooks on... Yellow at least. Okay. Now the verifiers are in red. Maybe to a different core. Is there a... Where is the closest... Closest core in here. So first SS Panzer Core. Just gonna move it in here. And this unit. No, not all subunits, just this one. I'm not sure. I think the readiness went down. Okay. Yeah, I can believe you that it, it's probably a very different experience if you start it over right now. Where is the Panzer Artillery? It's in here. Uh huh. Okay, these guys would have direct line of sight. 4 to 1. Panzer Artillery. Duel. Do it. 3, 5, 4. Three anti-tank guns, four trucks, and one Vespa lost from our side. Okay. This could be more useful against some infantry, but I'm still gonna use it just against these ones. Okay. They are a fairly weak unit right now. Knittel. Uh, should just relax. They need to regain their combat readiness, but uh, these guys here, without any other support, it's kind of bad. Also, these guys should be just resting.
Okay, some of Piper's units are in here already. Let's just barrage them. Quick barrage. They have a lot of mortars, these airborne regiments. I just feel like that most of my units should be just resting, but taking also good defensive positions wouldn't hurt. These guys can rest in the city. I don't know, I guess headsets could be useful. Yeah, march mode is useful. It's just that you take a big readiness hit. And I don't think I can sustain a lot of readiness hits. With most of my units, they, they already suffered so much. In terms of readiness, not really in terms of combat. Yeah, let's move those guys in there too. Twelfth SS. Yeah, they are the ones that are fighting in the swamps right now. Or swamps. Getting, getting more reinforcements in here wouldn't hurt. I'm not gonna risk it about that movement. I'm gonna go in combat mode. Okay. Took some barrage. Okay, there is the enemy. There is a lot of stuff in here. Knittel could go in here and take this heavy forest. What is this? This is also height too. Yeah. Having this would give us some protection if we try to go through that slot. These king tigers, they are really not, not useful in this terrain. So this is a bad slot, there is just so much tanks coming through that way. Soft attack, hard attack. What if I place the king tigers in here? With the Hetzers and Volks Grenadiers. What is the supply status? It's still okay there though. attack. Uh, how many? Two anti-tank guns. Uh, 
Draconian force, it would be half of this. Yeah, let's just do Draconian force. Yeah, I wanted to play it safe. One howitzer, four pasogas, two trucks, one truck, okay. Okay, this looks fairly good. However, I think we need... We need maybe more defenses there in those forests. Or we can just rest. Let's rest the rest of those guys. Mm. Viper... Piper needs to go somewhere. Because some of the units are there. They are a little bit too spread out in for my taste. I think we are gonna stay in here though. In the open ground. Seems a bit crazy, but that's the best central position. So there is, these are in Piper and the rest are 16 Volksgren, which is in here. Okay. So these guys actually should, should be moved out. Should be moved out fairly soon. Yeah, and the, the NATO counters are like this. Well, I guess it would take some time to learn this, like intuitively. Yeah, of course I can recognize infantry, I can recognize engineers. But this one, I wouldn't have known that this is better fair. Well, it has kind of that kind of ballistic missile, so maybe. This is mechanized. This one has flak, I wouldn't have known. Tank unit. Yeah, sure. I know that. Kampfgruppes are KG. This is some kind of half mechanized. Is it like recon mechanized or what is that? Answer Gren, and then they have a these, lot of these armored cars. Uh, the height level is the same. I guess we could even withdraw back to maximize the generation of. Uh, And these guys would be within supply if I move, move them in here. Or alternatively I can do the direct engagement. Put them in the rural village. And then In next turn we can try to after in or in the morning. Yeah, maybe I just want to rest these guys. I know that they could fight. 
but I would rather rest. Will they rest better if they are in a rural village though? Let's find out. And let's put also the flock there. And then they can rest. Yeah, in retrospect, the pioneers here would have been better, and the flock guns in here, they could have stayed like that. Now I just lost a lot of, lot of readiness and and stuff. We had the baston situation, I didn't do all of the moves in here. So these guys... And I think we can now march confidently to better positions in here. Three to one. And we still have the Cryf team in here. Let's see. Seventy two movement. Twenty eight. Yeah, we can definitely engage with them. Taking them out is not gonna be super easy. Twenty-three, yeah. There's only two of these. Okay. I'm gonna move them as a group. 12 to 1. And HQ is in here. I can provide for this combat a little bit better support. Yeah, 14 to 1. Do it. They managed to Managed to take ten, 10 men out. 27 to 1. Attack. Good. That is now problem solved. Recon hide obstruct. We should be able to take this if we just move. Move a unit in there. They just quite don't have the range in from here. They belong to some kind of core. Core is in here. Yeah, because of this artillery. Do it. 180 gun. Yeah, I'm not gonna be wasting my ammunition on those. They they refuse to get hit. About here is a city position. Sixty six. Sixty-six isn't that great. We would have only two left. Okay. Twenty-six. 
Okay. There's quite plenty of units in here. Let's try to take them out with the... Okay. Just one. One Pasoka taken out. Whatever. We can't get the Panthers exactly into the city. We can't see what is in here. We don't know, are there more armored units? No, Recon is 39. Just need just a little bit better Recon. I think these guys could go in here. Okay, it's supposed to be empty. 45. Okay, Team Walker. Ranged attack. I think range attack sounds good. We don't need to necessarily attack them. Yeah, that's great. Okay. One M10 taken out. And then... I think we should take this... This down. Or keep, keep all of these guys in the city. Maybe so. Maybe that's for the better. We shouldn't maybe go down here. I I don't think I don't think that's that makes sense. Kaufman They could then block this or block that. I don't know. This is already like a central position that we should hold out, hold later, but yeah, let's just first maybe send these guys here. Let's bring the Panthers into safety. They can go back to the depot. Wall of... Jagd Panthers could go after the enemy here. Mm.
Okay, these pioneers can go quite far. That's good. And we revealed that these are two full airborne units. Okay. Maybe like that then, and uh... Moment cost 20, 19, okay, it's the maximum that we can move. Yeah, 42, it wouldn't be enough. This is too much, too much enemies there, even with Yacht Panthers. Sixty-six. Panzer Lair is here. I think we could move the unit in the city and it could just wait in there and chill. We can move the flock up Tailung in here. So it's like the surrounding hexes are then where we have the tanks. If it works like that, that it doesn't have to be in the same hex. I sure hope so. Hundred and fifth HQ is in the center. These are mega small units, they are the Scorseni. Like this is the commando guy. That's why his units are so small. I guess so, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could be given some some like Infiltration tasks. The Gryph units. The Gryph units should be also under his command. Just to be clear. Panzer Lehr has elements all over the place, so I guess moving to Baston is the best. We can gather some extra recon. Or prevent their line of retreat. Yeah, I think we could take these guys with us, but what's the what's the cost of movement? I'm not that sure about attacking these these guys. They are rather serious looking. Of course I can take the Cryf. Cryf here. 60. Sixty-one. Uh,
Yeah, if we take one more side of attack, we can do much better. But could we get even two sides? This is ten, ten, ten. We wouldn't be able to do a speed card anyways. This movement is so expensive, like 30, 17. And this for some reason is more expensive than anything. Yeah, because it has the 10. Ah, it should be 17 the moment cost. Ah, uh, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Okay. And they are stubborn. Three to one. Maybe just three gone in fours. Then it's like half of these points, but our hit points are then halved. Uh, do we have what it takes? We can't play the attack card, we can play courage card. That's enough. I think I think I want to preserve enough for the tank drive card, so Yeah. Or I can give this unit the speed card. Then it would have enough action points to attack. Let's let's give it the speed card. Boschinger. And let's if this order matters somehow. Six to one. Basic attack. Six to one. Do it. Okay, they capitulated completely, even though like when we attacked their readiness was super high, their vigor was high, but they were set to stubborn and they were taking so many losses at this stage and that basically caused them to capitulate. You know, the, they just saw, the men just saw that yeah we are losing this battle. Why do we have to stay here? And it's a, it's a slaughter, so they just decided to capitulate. Can we get any of these guys into safety? And do that. This position is. Oh, what? Uh, what core do you belong? This pioneer unit. Sixth Panzer Army, no way. I'm gonna put you into the. Into this one, Scorzen is 150 at Panzer Brigade, yep. It's gonna be your new. Red and 50 at Panzer Brigade. 150, select. Readiness went down a little bit. Nothing too bad.
Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. That's all right. You can move them towards Boston, but uh, you can just stay. And there's a village in here. Okay, there's a village. Yeah, yeah, stay there. Definitely. This <laughs> city attack is this is not gonna go well. And if these join, it's gonna be three sides. It's gonna be a capitulation. Like I can pull them out. But if I pull them out, they have free movement in here and it's gonna cause more problems. So I'm gonna stay put. I'm gonna also stay put with those guys. It's gonna say 75% losses. That basically means destruction. Because these guys will attack too. It's, it's not gonna be pretty. That unit is really, really in a bad spot. Yeah, nothing in the south. I think we are now good. Good in the south. Okay, we have some units to move here. We have to just pick which. Mm, I don't think Venus. Or do we want to send them to the slot? To Saint with or here. Here they would join Baston. I think maybe Saint Vith is a better choice. Okay, apparently it's not going over the limit, so. Just do it, basic group movement. That's great. Okay. Okay, those guys are advancing. Apparently these guys I haven't yet moved. Fields of snow.
Okay, those units have been moved. Maybe this unit could go this way. Do they have any visibility? Not really in here though. Oh yeah, this HQ doesn't need to move. These guys could move. Get them ready. 41. It's there and there. Can they, can they get there? To the front line in the next turn. In the night they can of course. Of course, move freely. And that's fine. There is a there is a town in there. Yeah, but we are still within firing range, so we don't have to necessarily move. Unless we want to put them to safety. They can't see. Can't see that position. I'm gonna move those guys. A little bit closer. And I think I want to call one one unit in. We have those cards available. Third Panzer Grenadier Division. That only apparently has the upper upper right corner and here for some reason. I didn't know. Yeah, this was something that you Otto, I guess you mentioned that that you can just call them in here. Well, is that fair? That's what I'm wondering. Like I could call them in here. I don't think that's I don't think that's fair, so I'm just gonna call them somewhere completely else. If I want to send them to Baston, what's the fastest way? It has to be here, following this highway. Here. Yeah. That's it. Pioneers, flak guns. Yeah, these guys, they should just go into the center here and then dig in, basically. Because Panzer Lair is gonna be pivoting here to the south. They could be then, when they arrive, they could be going westwards. Because Panzer Lair is gonna like be hitting, hitting Arlon eventually. Oh yeah, this unit was actually quite close to Arlon even. Yep. Let's see if we could figure out what kind of enemy unit are we facing. Facing in here. Six three three six nine five. So I guess Panzer Grenadiers can do the probe. Okay. Let's 
quite heavily entrenched enemy unit there. Forest, heavy forest. This would be a perfect place for an ambush. Okay, these guys got really close. Close to the front. 19%. I think we want to hit it because it's the biggest. Enemy target there. Also select these. Ah, oh, it goes down actually. Let's just do one. Hundred men taken out in an instant. Two hundred and eighty-three. I'm gonna try to reduce them. Okay, it's basically an empty unit now. Can still spot. Two sixteen. Okay, up oh, that one. Select that one too. These two. Direct line of sight. Twenty six to one. Okay. It became some kind of a mortar duel. Thousand. How about this? Twenty four to one. Okay, that was great too. Really great attacks. I think we attack Brook now. Brook is also diminished severely damaged. Um, let's go after Brook again. Okay. That doesn't seem that effective. Maybe in here. Okay. Entrenchment 125. They wouldn't be responding, apparently. Let's 
about these, these would respond. Seventy-one. Okay. How many tanks were there in here? Ah, still a few. A few tanks, I think. We could give them a try. Okay, only one Sherman taken out and two trucks. This is already overstacking the artillery against that unit. Getting that spotter out would actually help us help us somewhat. Destroy the spotter. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Still have some warfare available. Okay, now we have cleared out. The approach, there is this light forest. Light forest ahead of us, I think we need to rush towards it. We made it. Made it into the tree line. Okay, it's, there's no units in here. That's excellent. That means that we could even... Even cut this road if we want to. What kind of supply status? Good supplies. So we don't have to actually fight in these horrifying woods. Seems to me that we can get everybody safely in here. Okay, there's an enemy unit in that position. I'm glad that the game stops you, like when you try to move, move in that kind of position where there is actually an enemy unit. Because we would have otherwise taken taken some heat there. Fifty three. I I want to actually do some probing in here to see. To see in what kind of state. Oh, they are all just artillery units. Only these guys can perform a regular attack. Okay, it's only this. So it's just artillery. That that makes it a little bit interesting.
I'm not sure can we get we can do probe with one percent of the units. Okay. Well I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit worried. Uh thirty percent line of sight. Okay, they managed. They managed to do the impossible. Let's just get everybody in the in the town. We have 240 entrenchment with this one particular, one particular unit. We could challenge them to a mortar, mortar fight. Or we could, we could try to engage, engage them in combat. This is already 7 to 1. We could send this other guy. Six to one ranged attack. Okay. That's a really good ranged attack. I'm gonna give it a try. No hits. Okay. Sixteen to one. Let's move the pioneer. Okay. the Panzer Artillery, 10 to 1. Yeah, I think we want to do, do it here. Yeah, look at that, 70 men taken out. That's massive, massive damage. 19 to 1, do it. Okay. Retreated. Zero losses. Quite impressive. That was quite impressive. Um, this one fired there. Good. Very nice barrage. But okay, I think I I have to actually stop stop it right here. But yeah. Progress is looking quite okay in the north. We are hopefully we can we can get to this tree line. We have no knowledge what is the enemy unit here. These turn out to be artillery units. 
that's at least some kind of a relief for me. I think it means that we can surround them like that. They can't at least... I'm not sure. Like if they attack, try to barrage and attack them their way out. Yeah. Don't know about that. Then I'd have to think about these tooks. Also... How are we planning to break this position? 92 entrenchment. This is also heavy forest. We have to break either or or possibly both. Here I have no knowledge on the on that unit. Because this would be the highway then. Super fast move if we can get that through. So you are through two thirds of the first turn. Yeah, yeah, that, that takes time. Definitely. Even then, even in the first turn, you have most of your units locked. So I think I think I want to try maybe at some point like a smaller scenario just with the Americans to to learn how to defend. Try to really be maximally annoying to to the Germans. And if I manage to win this as axis, then I will have to put the difficulty even higher and slow. Uh, and then put the AI to slow. But I don't know. I think this, this is still like... We are quite in, in, in balance in forces right now. But yeah, thanks people for following the stream. And... Uh, yeah, see you then in the next next one. Uh, good night. Bye.